You can actually complete cybersecurity internships with some of the biggest companies in the world like MasterCard, AIG, JP Morgan Chase, and others. And this is actually a, a risk-free way to actually get hands-on experience when it comes to when it comes to cybersecurity. Internships are fantastic. These are actually also free internships, and they are fantastic programs that we're gonna be looking at in this video. And I cannot wait to share this with you. Don't just watch these, actually save this video, share it with, you know, somebody who you know is interested in cybersecurity, an ex-lover, a family member, a friend, whatever the case is, like it, comment, let me know how you enjoy it because it's a very good one. And uh, I'm just going to jump right into it and show you a couple companies, actually big companies that are offering free cybersecurity internships that I think you should take advantage of and let's get into it. All right, so at number one, we are looking at MasterCard's cybersecurity internship. Now, this is a completely self-paced course. It's free to register. It's one or two hours if you pace yourself well. There's no grades, no assessment, and it's completely introductory. So just very, very entry-level stuff. What you'll be learning is, you know, fundamentals of cybersecurity, technical cyber cybersecurity awareness, problem solving, digital, you know, uh, thinking, communicating, data analysis, design thinking, and different things of that sort. So this is very, very entry level. It's actually 16,000 people have reviewed it, five star ratings. And here's how it works. So you complete tasks guided by pre-recorded videos and examples answered from their team at MasterCard, no live sessions, all self-based. So this is pre-recorded videos. You earn a certificate that you can add to your resume. You can add to LinkedIn as an extracurricular activity. And you can also see about using this as CEUs, you know, with Security Plus or whatever else certificate that you already have. And you also stand out applications, confidently answering questions and interview questions and different things of that sort. So this is actually going in depth more about what it is that this course is designed like. It's 30 to 60 minutes, so about 30 to an hour of designing efficient email simulation. So a lot of times you learn what email phishing is, so how to spot it out, how to not get caught, but you actually will be learning how to simulate one, how to design one, and what threat phishing pre uh, presents to an organization, and what the different types of phishing emails look like, how MasterCard prevents and mitigates phishing threats. So MasterCard, this is P PCI, DSS, payment credit card industry, so that's a lot of phishing that's going on people always trying to steal people's credit card stuff and so that's exactly what we've been learning from mastercard which we've been doing it for a minute in stats two of this course you take 30 to 60 minutes and interpret fishing simulation results so after designing you'll be interpreting the results and then the finish line you will learn how to talk you know about experiences in your in interviews and you know building a resume and different things of that sort so definitely check this one out I will also be having the links to all of these down below in the description, like all my videos. The links are down below in the description. Definitely click those. And we're going to move on to the next one. So this next one is with JP Morgan Chase. And they're really giving you a chance to see what it's like to work in cybersecurity and with the cybersecurity team. So you will be learning how to filter out spam emails, develop a system to tie in IA and rules and different things of that sort. So JP Morgan Chase is really, really, you know, putting you to get in a position to get some hands on experience. This is a job simulation as well, and it's completely free. So let's get into it exactly what you will be learning. So with this course, you will be actually analyzing a large data set of fraud in financial payment services. So JP Morgan Chase, another, you know, financial industry, you'll be learning about application security fundamentals and putting it to use on your own website that you'll be able to simulate and build as well as spam and ham building an email classifier designing and developing systems to tighten access to sensitive information that's a bonus task so again this is a totally free glimpse into the world of cyber cyber security and you you really will be experiencing yourself in daily tasks of cyber security teams and what they face on a day-to-day -day basis keeping in touch with real world problems as well as hackers and frauds and different things that I saw that are out there. So here's a little bit of breakdown why this is beneficial to you. You know, something that you can throw on your resume, your LinkedIn and different things of that sort. Discovering if cybersecurity really is a career for you, if this is actually something that you want to do. So this simulation puts you in that position. If you're like, man, this is, 
This is a lot of work. Hope you like, look, I can really do this and I'm excited and passionate about these stuff as well as also be seen by JP Morgan Chase because you'll be in their database. You'll be thought by their professors. You will, you know, have a chance to expose yourself to them and just leverage the experience to be able to use that on interviews and different things of that sort. So another great one that you should definitely check out. Again, the link is down below in the description. All right, so next, this one is actually with Commonwealth Bank, and this is an introduction to cybersecurity. So you will actually be working with a team to protect the bank's customers, employees, and reputation while also enhancing the resilience of its financial system. So this is a three to four hours, no grades, no assessment, self-paced course. And the reason why I'm really excited about this one, I'm experiencing this industry, cybersecurity industry, but the reason why this is something that I actually want to take and will take myself signing up for is because of Splunk basis. A lot of people are putting, you know, Splunk high up on a CM2 that they want to learn or get some experience in. A lot of people are charging a lot of money to train you with Splunk because it's just one of those tools that if you are skilled in, it puts you in a better position to, you know, be able to ace interviews, land jobs, and just know what it is that you're doing on the job. So that's something that you will actually be able to do in task one, install and set up a Splunk enterprise, import the provided data sets and exploit using Splunk. So they're giving you the tools, they're giving you everything you need. This is something that if you wanted to do right now on your own, you got to have to pay for a license and different things of that sort. And it's expensive, but Commonwealth Bank is actually providing that and giving you the tools and the resources to be able to do that in task two you will also be able to understand the nature of cyber incident based on provided incident timelines and descriptions so they're putting you in real life situations and that's why they say you'll be working with a team to protect the bank's customers so the bank's reputation as well as employees so actually protecting real life assets it's a free course as well and again this one is a commonwealth bank and it's one that i myself who's been working in the industry for a long time will actually be signing up to take just to be able to expose myself more to that Splunk right there. So we're going to move on to the next one. And next, but the last, but certainly not the least is with AIG. And this is the New York Job CEO Council. And this one is Shields Up Cybersecurity. And really this is, you know, gearing up to teach your skills as an information security analyst in analyzing security alerts and responding to ransomware attacks using python stakeholder management skills so this one is a job that you know it's one of those you know bear of bad news kind of jobs and it's one that you know it's like SOC or you know information system security officer kind of role and it's a it's 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 a great job to be in you know grc and different things of that nature it's a great job to be in but sometimes can be thankless but also pays very very good and you pretty much bearing bad news to, you know, C-suite elect execs and people who, you know, cutting the checks and, you know, making important decisions. And, you know, you responded to ransomware. It's like, hey, we just got hit. You know, this is what we got to do. And different things like that communication. That's one of the big things that I think you're going to be learning in this course and analyzing data, realizing how to apply that, you know, C uh, CIA triad to different kinds of attacks and risk and vulnerabilities and things like that. So in this simulation, you will learn skills, both technical and non-technical that are used in real world cybersecurity events, specifically notifying internal stakeholders that may be at risk from ransomware attacks and then help them recover hacked files. So this is some good, good, good stuff right here. Again, this one is two to three hours self-paced. It shields up cybersecurity. It's one that I encourage you to also look at because it just exposes you to a field in cybersecurity that a lot of people are jumping into right now, making some good money, making some, you know, good careers and having a lot of fun doing it with a lot of passion and <laughs> integrity. So this one is open all year round. I'm going to look at the other ones um, just to see if they notify how off, how long they're open. They do not specify. This one is also open all year round. So again, the links are down below in the description. Definitely check up, take advantage of these free cybersecurity internships. A lot of people, I just did a job fair, asked me, you know, where can I find internships? I was pointing them to Indeed because there are some internships on Indeed, but just found these. And I think I wanted to share these because I think they're valuable. So if you think as much, definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know which one you'll be signing up for. Share the link. 
like it because that's how you know youtube spreads this thing and um i will see you on the next one i appreciate you for watching my name is flex peace